long live it. Ready? My contact awaits at the chess club. Let's get this over with. Your contact, who is it? Slippery little bugger. I'd have nothing to do with him, were the circumstances any different. You mean you don't trust him? I trust no one, including you. Come on. Something's not right. Let's see what. Checkmate. They say it's the game of kings. That chess teaches one to think strategically. What a load of rubbish. Both sides have identical pieces. The rules stay invariably the same. How does this mirror real life? Witcher, do you know why I play chess? To kill time? I have no time to squander, let alone kill. I play chess to reveal the game's secret. Blood thumps inside these chessmen. You need only listen, and you will hear. Dub dub, dub dub, dub dub. A heart pumping with life. I take a pawn, and I hear flesh being rent. I win a piece, and I hear screams from the depths of its bowels. I want to break the chessmen open. Squeeze the truth from them. Do you see what I mean? No, I don't. <laughs> you do not because you are not a king. Pawns see only their comrades at their sides and their foes across the field. A king has a different view of the chessboard. His greatest foes surround him. His own chessmen might trap him. And that is check and death. You see, Witcher, chess is the art of sacrificing your own pieces. Now do you see? I think I do now. Unimportant. Let us speak. Why have you brought the Witcher here? I think he'd best explain. Expected a Redanian spy. Had no idea we'd be meeting a king. When you've an opportunity to omit intermediaries, I'd suggest you avail yourself of it. I'm looking for Cyprian Wiley, Orson Jr. I know Redania supports him. Why do you seek him? It's personal. Fair enough. I'll not pry. I have placed Junior in a mansion in Oxenfurt. Very few know this. They'll not let you in unannounced. Thus, you must tell them you've come about the new whores. Junior constantly requests fresh women. I hear he doesn't treat them well. A 
I appreciate the gesture, Your Majesty. A king should be severe towards his foes, generous to his friends. Apart from which, I'll expect you to return the favor. And also, Junior has lost his purpose. The Big Four is no more. I shall contact you to collect in due course. Now go. And you, Roach. We must speak another time. Radovid's sinking ever deeper into madness as I see it. I know where to find Junior. Don't really care beyond that. Geralt, come to think of it, I too wanted to ask a favor. I have a terrible problem with Bess. Need someone to talk some sense into her. Come see me at the camp. I'll tell you more. Let me think about it. See you, Roach. Scrap before I lose my patience. Long live Stay out of my way. You were a whaling yesterday. Where's Horson Jr.? Oh, this one's got bollocks, don't it? I know you, you motherfucker. Saw you kill Olgaard and Vic. Uh, must be a misunderstanding. Frank the bastard!
degenerate. He so much as touched Siri, he'll pay. What the sandwich fuck is this? No, oh, fuck me. Help me for fuck's sake. No one's coming. Hello, Junior. I've come to talk. I'll do whatever you want. Got a few questions to start with. I'll tell you everything. I'm looking for a young woman and a minstrel. I know you've met them. A bird? What fucking... Ashen-haired with a sword on her back, just like me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was... I, I, I remember. Pay attention now. You'll tell the truth. Want to know why? I won't lie. Honest. Took me a long time to find you. Wasn't an easy road to travel. I'm angry and tired. Had to kill a lot of people along the way. Some of them tried to cheat me. Some tried to lie. I didn't like it one bit. I feel like one more lie'd be the last bitter drop in a chalice full of sorrow. And then, then I'd do something I would later regret. Now you know why you can't lie to me? Yes. Good. I'd like to know how the ashen-haired woman ended up meeting you, and what happened to her. What happened to her? She attacked me! Lie one more time, and I'll cut your balls off. <laughs> uh. We've made a deal. I was to repair their magic filler, what's it? That girl and the songster were to bring me Siggy Reuven's treasure. They didn't, so I might have flown off the handle a bit, I admit. What did you do? I nabbed their flunky, Dodo, and waited for them to come for him. Look, this. Here's what they wanted fixed. A phylactery? You can fix something like this? Not me. I know a guy. Wasting my time, Junior. I need details. I'll tell you, tell you all. Just the way it happened. Got a bad feeling about this. Calm down, Dandelion. You can't leave Doo Doo in Horson Jr.'s hands, you know that. I know, I know, but my gut can't be reasoned with, and no amount of sympathy I feel can silence it, blot it out. I'll go in alone, you know? You'll stay outside. I can't let you go alone. If anything happens to you, Daryl will rip my head off. Someone must secure our retreat. There's bound to be a struggle. Things could get intense. We'll need to flee fast. Disappear in the crowd. Have you learned where Horson is keeping Dudu? Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. 
I'll need to cross onto the roof. Wait for me in front of Junior's house. And I know it's difficult, but do try to look inconspicuous. If they... If they hurt you, Horson will pay. I must climb onto the roof. Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. There's the balcony. Let's see what's inside. And now, my dear Dodo, I believe I'll try a different tool. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You're fucking balmy, Junior! Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Once they get to know me. So you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you. Yeah. 
That's what happened. Tell you true. Doo-doo, what happened to him? I don't fucking know. Brick vanished. There one moment, gone the next. What happened to the woman? Fuck if I know. One of the boys got her in the back, but she's alive, I swear it. Got anything else to say? I've told you all I know. Everything. You hurt the woman I'm looking for. You tortured her friend. She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. I beg you. Got what I deserved. Have mercy. Please. I'm no executioner. Thank you. I'll make it up to you, I will. This is my city, yeah. Shut up. Now what? Gotta wonder what your friends from the Big Four will say when they find out you're working for Radovid. Hey, wait. What are you saying? Wait! Seems you've resolved your matters. It's time you return the favor. Radovid doesn't like to wait much, does he? No, he does not. You'll come with us. The HMS Oxenford Tretagor. Once the crown jewel of the Redanian fleet. Decommissioned now, though. Nice boat. You'll need to leave your weapons if I'm to let you aboard. Follow me. The ship was funded with donations from noble women. Ladies from the most prominent families gave up their jewelry. A spur of the moment patriotic impulse. You're a homeless wanderer. Can't understand what it is to truly love one's country. There you are. Need something from me, Your Majesty? You've never been one to mince words. Very well. Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. I ordered her eyes gouged out once. But apparently her blindness troubles her not. My hunters have detected Lady Eilhart hiding east of Oxenfurt. They have further established that she has magically sealed the entrance to her shelter. Entering it will be difficult. I believe you might succeed in doing so. Bring her to me, alive. Philippa Eilhart? What's she looking for here? I suspect she wants to find her old friends, reconvene the lodge. Perhaps she seeks revenge on me. Lady Eilhart is known for her persistence. At times I recall the lessons she gave me when I was a child. Her teachings as memorable as the punishment she meted out. She was subtle and patient in her cruelty. 
I took her sight, but she remains dangerous. I'd advise you to be cautious. Need to think about it. Don't take too long. We wouldn't want Philippa to escape again. You may go. Never seen better steel in my life. Blade must strike true, no? It's a matter of the hand, not the steel it's holding. Word is, there'll be a big tournament. Think I know how to free Dandelion. Got a plan. But we need Doodoo. Gotta find him. This plan? What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenfurt. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Dudu? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but as whom. In the past, facing trouble, he'd disappear, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time... This time he hasn't returned. Known Dudu long. I know this might sound strange, but I can't be sure. It seems you've been circling me for some time in various forms, trying to attract my attention. Can't blame him for making the effort. Thank you. I failed to notice him at first. Then he decided to shoot the moon, assume Dandelion's form. What tipped you off? How do you know it wasn't Dandelion? Dudu not much of a singer. No. He simply spoke about something other than himself. We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Dandelion? Irina Reynard's troop, that's all really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings? Yes, I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the Foxen's help. Hmm, so if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply indebted to him. Dudu and the Mummers, how they meet? That was my doing, some opening night. Maxim lay comatose in his wardrobe, drunk as a notter. I thought of Dudu. Hard to imagine a better actor than a Doppler. And Dudu revealed himself to them just like that? I didn't think it wise to tell anyone. But Dudu and Irina took to each other completely and right away. He fell so hopelessly in love with the theatre. 
that he started performing with you. Yeah, Narevina feels terribly guilty. They let him put himself in danger. She can't forgive herself. Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to Dudu into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea, but I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides, do you really think Dudu whiles away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Dudu's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. It must be the talk of the town. If you wish, we can start on it right away. Not sure I'm cut out to write a play. Maybe you're better off doing this on your own. It's sure to go quicker if you help me. You'll see. We'll have a grand time together. All right. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, I was hoping... The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you. And that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence. Meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? More or less. That'll do. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know. Lorenzo Molla. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better, his beloved. Hmm. What do you think? Sounds great. Really think so? Lorenzo Moller. Yeah. Hmm. Or perhaps not. Wait, I've got it. We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenmore. Secret lovers, their betrothed one, a curse, a cruel queen, bell sounding midnight. But... At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pavel. They want him dead, but at that instant a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? Will I get a say in any of this, or have you decided everything already? Why are you cross? It's the nature of the creative process. We toss around ideas and choose the best ones. Meaning yours. Well, you must admit I'm better acquainted with the theatre. Naturally, you'll play a part in shaping this play. Contribute to the work as a whole. Dandelion will explain how it works later. We need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I have some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I have two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation and A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? Let's go with The Doppler's Salvation. It's shorter, catchier. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Mm, all right. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter... Listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. is the safer option. Very well. I must get to work. While you must pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think. All right? Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? Ugh, just keep quiet. Done. I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but... We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or 
That wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play. Not at all. You wrote it to contact Doodoo. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by his scar. Or just improvising. Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure you know where to find her? The troop performs in the butcher's yard off the main square. Join us later. See ya. Enter with a ticket. There's no performance now. Mamas are just rehearsing. Process is interesting to observe, though. So, want a ticket? No performance. Said so yourself. You can still get a ticket. What'll it be? Need a ticket? Yeah, one. Here. Just stay out of sight, eh? Awful bashful, these mamas in rehearsal. Madam Marina, can we talk? Geralt of Rivia, Dandelions told us so much about you. Is he with you? No, but I hope to bring him back soon. Here to talk about Dudu. Hmm. Let's speak in my quarters at the back of the theatre. We'll be undisturbed there. How can I help? We've not seen Dandelion or Dudu recently. Dandelion's in trouble. That much I guessed. Though I am curious how serious it is. Did he seduce a powerful man's wife and go into hiding? Or did he write an offensive couplet about the priests of the Eternal Fire? Worse. Lots. I'm gonna try to help him. Gotta contact Dudu first. But he's disappeared as well. I have a plan to lure him out of hiding, but I need your help. Can I count on you? Naturally, but what can we possibly do? I want to stage a play, something that'll really draw the crowds. I see. And you hope it'll get Dudu's attention as well, draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play? And who will write it? Priscilla, actually. She's done writing it. Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a Doppler from certain death. Mm. Sounds interesting. I'll gladly have a glance. But first, we must think about getting the word out and organizing some protection. Ushers. Would you mind tending to these matters? Think we need ushers? A play about Dopplers could be controversial, but are ushers absolutely necessary? Can't be sure if you've attended many performances, but Novigrad crowds can be particularly difficult. Rotten apples, tomatoes, eggs, that sort of thing. Axes, butcher's knives, and bricks, actually. All right, know anyone appropriate? Try the dogs, perhaps. You're bound to find some men willing to do any work for a few crowns. How can I help you spread the word about the premiere? Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly talk to the Puffins. Who are the Puffins? Street artists. Get them to announce the premiere, and even the muscles on the harbor piling will hear about it. Where'll I find them? They did occupy some rooms in the bits in a townhouse, but I can't be sure they're still there. I've not seen them in the streets lately. They may very well have hung up their body hose. See if I can find them, and if they'll work for us. Thanks for helping. I'll come back once I've found some ushers. See you then.
because I thought things couldn't get. Just look at the freak. Long live Geralt of Rivia, Ow! our saviour! La 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 la. Nice tune. Damn sad, though. Then it successfully conveys my mood. What do you seek here? Looking for the puffins. Have I found them? We've no coin. Leave us be. Think there's been a mistake. Sorry. Thought our landlord had hired another thug to collect from us. Another thug? Flattered. Thanks. Forgive us. You look threatening, and we've had our share of trouble lately. Nisa's on edge these days. We all are. Don't want any coin from you. In fact, I'm willing to pay you, provided you agree to get the word out about Madame Arena's new play. Oh, afraid that's impossible. Ever since we premiered our fateful ballad about Holy Hemophart, who his faith ignores, gorges himself, diddles old whores, Fatso's gang has been harassing us incessantly. Fatso's gang? Common thugs and the church's pay. City's full of gangs like that now. They threaten me, sir. Said they round off her pointy ears with a carving knife. They don't let us perform. Chase away spectators, destroy our instruments. Lately they've taken to lurking outside our home. We're at wit's end, no clue what to do. They harm any of you? No, not yet. But it's merely a question of time. Nisa overheard talking about setting fire to something. All right. Say I get Fatso and his boys to leave you alone. Will you publicize Arena's play then? Of course. But you shan't find it easy. There's no talking to that lot. I'm not a great talker anyway. How <sighs> dare you to say it again? It's not safe to go out on the streets anymore. Inside, no. So you're the ones. Oh, I fat so. Look what we got here. Is it just me or you got cat eyes? Right, he does. Stray cat must have fucked his mum. <laughs> now, what you doing in the city of eternal fire, cat shit? Leave the puffins alone. Worms they insulted our Iraq Emil fuck. Called him an allmonger. I'd sooner snuff out the holy flame itself. Tell them fucking poets to come down here. Shove their fruits up their blaspheming assholes. Yeah, to play a different tune then, every time they fought. <laughs> Get out of here. Now. What? Fuck yeah. Mistake. Ah, oh, what a sight. You really showed them. One, two over the back, then pow, right in the noggin. I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath the hood. Thank you very much. Come on, it was nothing. Oh, it was something, all right. I don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper. Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. Some quick preparations and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next.
Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me, or is it how you want to face? A witcher versus the beast of Metana. Killer instinct versus primal rage. You guys really from Nilfgaard? He's from plowing Metana, damn it! Not Nilfgaard. Raised by wild hands. On the windswept plains of Magdara. Brothers, forged in bloodshed, veterans of Metina's infamous filthy arenas. Who dares face the wild men of the south? Who will look the beasts in the eye? I'd like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. Actually want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. Got the wrong men. Ass kicking's what we do. I pay well. Stand to make more than you do here. Expecting trouble? Well, we need to bust some heads. Can't rule it out. Bricks could start flying. Heard that from a reliable source. Now! Wanna smash some brick layers? Oh, he does, he does! Oh, I don't know my own brother. Give me that coin. And don't fret. We'll be there before any of the uh, dancing starts. There you are. 
managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I've very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher and the queen, but I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. These performances bring in much coin? Well, it varies. On good days, the square is barely capable of accommodating everyone. Other times, we're lucky to earn a handful of coppers. Of course, we shall pay you a fee as well. You're a member of the ensemble now. <laughs> Thanks. Who's playing the Witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him. But I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troupe? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. It's a good idea. Doubt I'll get a standing ovation, but Dudu will see me. That's the key. But you will make an effort, won't you? Learn your lines, at least. I'll give it a shot, of course. So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience. Let's have Priscilla do it. No offense, but uh, most people... Assign greater importance to appearance than to talent. I understand. I shall let her know. I'm certain she'll be wonderful. So who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safe bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique, but he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bolia, outstanding actor, and audiences love him, but sadly I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. Let's go with Abelard. I'll take a reliable artisan over an unpredictable artist any day. Rightly so. The project is risky enough without our casting Maxim. Alright. Got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? Working on it. Still need to learn my lines. It's a lot to memorize. One who knows an entire bestry by heart and can blend dozens of alchemical brews can surely memorize a few lines of rhymed verse. Good luck. Closer to being ready for this premiere? Halberdier number two is in the props room crying. Apart from that, it's going splendidly. And you? Are you ready? All right, let's start. Want to get this over with? Everyone says so before their first time. Afterwards, it's impossible to drag them off the stage. You'll see. You'll love it. Zoltan, what are you doing here? <laughs> Pressy told me you ought to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me, which are you going to wear hose and a codpiece? Calm, Geralt. You must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you an exquisite comedy. Its title, The Doppler's Salvation. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katerina as the queen, Leo Rybe as the humble servant, 
appearing as the prince, a veteran of the Novigrad stage, Abelard Ritza. And as the princess, the lovely Trabaritz with the voice of a nightingale, Priscilla. Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. But first, some wine to steady my hand. <laughs> Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. A monster shall show at tonight's feastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows. Your reward you'll receive on my finest pillows. To slay beasts most foul, twas for this I was made. I kill as my calling, not just to get paid. He swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Oh, my child will pity her love, this beast. Though at least ere he goes, he'll enjoy a last feast. Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. Perhaps midst the guests he hides in fear. My dear. Long have we hid our love's tender fires. Months we've restrained our loins' hot desires. Tonight shall it end. Be my wife, that's my plea. That having said, I'll get down on my knee. Oh, darling, I will, I will, I will. Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. D -d 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 Treason! Tis not wine, but a brew spiked with silver. <gasps> My bowels contract a foul beast to deliver. <gasps> hark, hark, tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. Seems men's hearts can love for changelings foster. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword, let fly the killing stroke. Stop, stop, beast or man, tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades, fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. But a heart that is base, such as in this knave, aches. Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk, and its moral is this. No monster is he whose shape can shift. The Witcher is just a true Doppler's friend. But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. Guard, call the
the guard remove the traitor at once. Hey, hear the princess's command. Come up here. Come on then, governor. Up you go. On stage. Toss the traitor scum in the dungeon. Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! Give it a rest, mate. Can't you see it's all in fun? This is a comedy. A ghoul could play the prince. Light it up, for God's sake. me. How'd you do it? Greetings, Dudu. Heard about that souvenir Horson left on your face. So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great. Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How'd you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the Temple Guard all at the same time? It's not as if we planned it. <laughs> I know Siri went back to Horson's to get you. How'd you manage to escape? I ran after her, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me and treated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers, but. Slow down, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt, when did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full run last by now. Do, do, do us a wee favor. Show us silly for a moment. Geralt? Transform. Change into her. I feel strange, both of you staring at me bug-eyed. Is that enough? Yeah, plenty. Bad idea. Not angry, are you, Geralt? No. I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him. But there's good news, too. Menga's dead. Ugh. A fiend. Good thing someone finally killed it. Though another, just as bad or worse, would likely take its place. Wouldn't be so quick to assume. Got a feeling it could be a decent fellow. What's he talking about? We think we can free Dandelion. Just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance. Then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenfurt. We'll lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. No one knows Menga's dead. No need to worry about being exposed. No one save you. Would this have anything to do with the fire at the Witch Hunter's barracks? We were in the area. <laughs> I sorely regret not seeing that. 
Dandelion's on Temple Isle, imprisoned there. You'll need to find out exactly where. But what if they grow suspicious? Start asking questions. I'll bet my best axe no one will pester the commander of the Temple Guard. Besides, you're a Doppler and an actor, and an actor and a Doppler. Got double the spark to improvise your way out of any situation. If things get spicy, you'll just nip round the corner and transform into a buxom wench, a, a jackdaw, or whatever else strikes your fancy. Of course, it's that simple. Thanks. Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Menga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Geralt will then join us and we'll await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Kyle's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. I'm over waiting for you, Geralt. Yeah, see you in the ravine. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga, live like Chappelle, burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No. Once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settled? Let's get to work. You were marvelous. Not a single mistake. The performance in general. What did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. I'm just pleased the Puffins got the word out. That was quite the crowd. You were right to cast Abelard as the prince. It's likely Maxim would have shown up drunk as a fish or forgotten about the premiere altogether. Here you are. Your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At Kaer Morhen. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now.